Hazard by an Osler. Mm -hmm. So it's a long rifle, like shotgun. So you put you your know? head up. Huh? Yeah, so I look forward, like I look upwards like and that. That's what saved and because of the angle, you know, it didn't pass in your side floor door. That's putting my face like all the way from here. Got so wide open like an axe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I have a scar all the way up here. It's just like that was really a light. Rolling. What's up? What's up, sucker? What's, What's up? going on? <laughs> oh, man, all right, man. Uh, uh, today, man, we have a, a special, a special, special guest here, man. My friend uh, Louis, man, from uh, Feed Me What's up, Louis? What's going on? Uh, Louis Galvan. Louis Galvan. What, uh, uh, what's your Instagram? Uh, screwy Louis Two One Zero Art. Screwy Louis, man. Uh, yeah. You're apprenticing at a uh, uh, Feed Me right now. Yes, I Feed am. Me. So you know, and I plan on staying there for a while. Uh, that's actually. Very interesting story. What's that? That's actually a very interesting story. What is you apprenticing there? Yeah. What? 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 Even, what? How did you come about to be an apprentice there? Um, be, okay. Before we go any further, if nobody knows uh, what Feedman <laughs> Feedman Copias is, a tattoo shop here in San Antonio that I've had the owners here as guests. Uh, well, they have three shops in San Antonio. Badass black and gray artists. Shout out to Mikey and everyone at Feedman. Yeah. And Silo. And, uh, X. Uh, yeah. Everyone and out there. There's, there's a bunch of names. Michael I'm sorry Cantu, if I don't mention you, but um, y'all can be mad at me when I come by and all that yeah. stuff. But yeah, how did you end up over there, man? Trying to around. Chewy, of course. Yeah. We miss Chewy. <laughs> no, yeah, I think it's just where Nick and shout outs. We got to make sure we name Eridai and Angela. She well, I know I can. So. I, I know everyone there is cool. Yeah, I'm going to do a blanket and the rest of you, they get mad. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah. He said to say that. Yeah. Louis, Louis don't give a damn. No, because I Obviously, know you're like, oh, no, because it's before I left. Um, X said, make sure you give me a shout out. Then I was like, damn. If we start doing <laughs> shout outs. And I, this I don't, okay, I this to first of all, somebody, like Adam, you know, that's also another friend that's there. Try to bring it on here with me. Well, first of all, everyone at Feedman, this isn't the beat, okay? Mm -hmm. This isn't uh, 98.5 the beat, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but okay, X, all, the, all everyone there yeah, is a badass fucking awesome. artist. But uh, anyway, so how did you end up uh, apprenticing over there? Okay. How so long have you been apprenticing there, first of all? The reason I say interesting is because, like, you know how they say everything happens for a reason, you know, like time, like all in good time type thing? Mm-hmm. So, if you want to wind it back, I had just gotten off of the house arrest January nineteenth. Yeah. Four. Uh, Agassol with a deadly weapon. I had done six on the eight years since, and then. Okay, hold on. Let's two. let's 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 stop and back up right here. You're uh, you jumped to chapter three and then six, and now we're in chapter twelve oh, in the thirteen shit. chapter book. Uh, okay, okay, we got Nick before we go in for okay. this. <laughs> this this really um this segment this so you this restart. podcast I wanna uh. Just say, I want to stress, there's a lot of shit going on right now in the world. There's a lot of fucking shit going on with this pandemic. Um, a lot of people, the, before the pandemic, whatever happened to the fucking opioid crisis? You know, remember opioid. the opioid crisis was everywhere. It was killing everything. And then the pandemic started and you don't hear fucking very much about it. And it, it affects me personally because I got a, a son who is on heroin, man. Okay. And I, every day I wake up and I turn on the news and I hope that there's not a 31 year old that died on the West side, you know, yeah, it scares so, me yeah, and bad. I want that. I want him to get better. And, and there's a lot of shit going on and there's a lot of mental health issues that people, people are having a tough time dealing with what's going on right now in the world. They're either stuck at home, not being able to feed their families, not being able to afford whatever to keep the lights on this. And then the freeze hit. That damn snowstorm, blizzard in the middle of San Antonio. Anything around 30 degrees is, kills people in San Antonio. So then that happened. And I hear left and right, you know, about people killing themselves, committing suicide. Now, obviously, something has happened to you. You had an injury. Yeah. Um, now, let's backtrack. Now, I know you tried to commit suicide, right? Yeah. Okay. But that was November 2011. November 2011, yeah, so, so 10 years ago. 10 years, yeah. 10 years ago, you were how old? Uh, I was 18 at that time, so I'm 28 now. 18 years old, so did had you just graduated from high school? Uh, yeah, June. You graduated? I three that 3DC, yeah. You, where, what high school did you go to? Uh, rather Lee. It's like Lee High School. Yeah, you went to Lee? Like yeah, well, I know they had that uh, make it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what, what's it Politics called? again, yeah. The, uh, the school uh, yeah. learning excellence academy. Yeah, it's some like bullshit that. like that. They made it a, yeah, a fucking hotel. They still have, the, they still have the, the statue, though. Yeah, no, they because just they took off the so name. They managed to, the L and the E and the E cost so much money, they managed to keep them on the fucking wall there yeah. and change the name to fit. Anyway, so you went to Lee. Lee's a good school, though. Lee's a, a, a 
a school with pe- a lot of people that are come from good families, pretty much. And it's in a, a, a nice area. Yeah. You know, so and so you went to leave. So then again, like just like anywhere else, you always had the dad side. And yeah. And so, that. what were you in high school? Were you a regular kid? Good grades? Bad grades? Uh, no, I was sucking up a lot. Oh, were you? <laughs> yeah. Were, were you doing uh, drugs? Yeah. Uh, started with like you know messing around with drugs and stuff. Like At that. what age? Um, I say my freshman year, actually. Yeah. Your freshman year, so thirteen years. Yeah, old? I think right off the rip. Yeah. What do you mean doing drugs? Um, smoking weed. Well, I think. Okay, so whenever you like uh, start to get into drugs and whatnot, I didn't know nothing about Xanax and the amount you're supposed to take. And sure enough, I took more than I should at school. And what do you mean you took them and you ate them and then went to school? Yeah, or or you while that no, while at school, I took too many while at school. And How many is too many? I say three. Probably. So in for, class for somebody that's never taken them, yeah. Oh, you would never take yeah, them. Yeah, like, like when I thir- yeah when I first took them, yeah, like that actually ended up being something that I got in trouble. And then I came back, and I think that. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, slow down, slow down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop you because I, I want everyone okay. to understand the process and what, what got you from point A to point B. I'm sorry, that's just the way my Ooh, mind works. But that's uh, a long story. How long do we have? And it's okay, we got plenty of time, <laughs> bro. I'm long. off for 48 hours right now. No, but uh, so you took them in class one day, like um, you were a freshman at school, and someone said, "Honestly, Here, man, I, take re- these. I remember that whole day. That yeah, I ended up buying them from somebody, and then how much was that? Xanax or the bars? Right. Is that uh, bars? I think at that time, what I had taken was the little footballs or like little balloons or some shit. Like, I don't know too much about this. And like, so you just took them and ate all yeah, three of them yeah, at the same like time? A, like a dumbass, right? You, why do you take something you don't know too much what, about? Did just because you, you hear from everybody else, it sucks you up. You know, like, it just and, knocked you up? Yeah, well, three and less, yeah, I just ended up completely out of it. And uh, They had to walk you? I ended up going to the uh, SRC, I think it was. What's that? Yeah, it's like suspension, you know, school suspension. You have to go to another At the school. same school or yeah, a different I had, school? No, I had to go to a different school for like a week. And then I come back. That's it, three bars, go to school for a week <laughs> somewhere else, and you come back yeah. and you're fine again? Yeah, I guess so. That's what it was. And did your parents think like, hey, do you have a problem? Um, When was it? Yeah, I think it was just immediately when I went to SRC, I ended up uh, getting referred to, uh, no. I think it's when I went to alternative school. I got referred to a twelve step program. So, so, but, but when when you took those three, okay, because I'm trying to understand yeah, how yeah, my yeah. son got started. Okay, well, because he was going to a good school too, going to Antonian, went to St. Paul's, went to Antonian, and at some point they were going to parties and kids that were <laughs> were going try this, and instead of him going, I don't want to do that like I did. Yeah, I know. We, he we just all get- said. They're, give it to me, give it to me, I'll do it. That's the thing. Every, he ate everyone's telling us not to, and we still do. I don't know, but people do it. And I, I know it, people it do it. It gets us into a lot of trouble. It's yeah, happening. I, just, I don't know why. It and makes no sense. It's, so when you, you did that, and you got in trouble, and you went home, you were just out of school for a week, and went back, and your parents said, eh, don't do that again, and you just kept on, and then slowly, did you know, like, man, I'm only going to eat one at a time this time? Or what did you do? Did What lesson did you learn uh, from that? I didn't take them for a while. <laughs> a good, <laughs> oh, a good while, yeah. You said but I ended up smoking weed again and got caught at school. I, I don't remember which times or With which. With weed? But I know one time I got, oh, yeah. Okay, so it wasn't too long when I came back from suspension mm-hmm. uh, from Dean and Troy for the bars that, like, we would go off campus and we would smoke weed and shit at the alarms and whatnot, and we would come back. And, uh, I forgot how, but I can. I was so stoned. I got sent to the principal's office, and then as soon as I stepped in there, principal, uh, vice principal, she was like, "Damn, you smell like marijuana." She told me, "Put your hands together like you're praying." And I did. She smelled it. She's like, "Oh yeah, you high." <laughs> so she was like that. Damn. And so I got uh, sent to alternative school for that for thirty days. What's the alternative school they send you to now? Uh, um, I know at that time, like I'm 28, so like that yeah, was, was a long time ago. Was, yeah. What school? What What was that? Where'd you go? Uh, that was off of San Pedro back there. I don't even, I mean, they used, they, when I was in school, they used to send people to Milam mm. and it was almost no. like you went to Milam, like you went to prison. Was it like where all the rowdy kids went when you went there? I mean, you have kids that could be rowdy, you know, as rowdy as But isn't that where you, you, the, you know? the troubled kids Yeah, go? yeah, yeah. That's alternative high school. They call it AHS. Yeah. So when you go there, are you thinking like, fuck, I'm going to be one, a bunch of bad kids? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. That's what and you have. worse? No, nah, I didn't. I didn't get into much trouble while I was there. The second time I did. <laughs> the second time. Why did you get sent there a second time? Okay, so the very day that I come back to that school from alternative school, a month later. Yeah, I go off campus to smoke weed, 
And I down there, it's crossing the street right when, like, the main dice principal is pulling up or something like that. So he pulls up on me. He's like, where are you coming from? I was like, <laughs> from the apartments. And he's like, where are you going? I was like, back to school. He's like, what are you doing on campus? That's how you shit. And then he takes me to the back and then from there, you're fucked. And what? From there, you're fucked. That had a little box of uh, cigarillos with weed in it. You know? Oh, he busted you Yeah, so uh, the school cops ended up getting me. And then... From there, I went to alternative school in JJ. Again? Okay, so yeah. you went r- one day back and then right back to alternative school. Dumb. Yeah. Okay, so how long were you in alternative <laughs> school this time? Uh, let's see. I did 30. How do you do it? Oh, you had to go to JJA first. What's Ju- JJ? Juvenile Justice Academy, yeah. Oh, so you were like in a boot camp type of thing? Not boot camp. It's just a whole other school. I forget where that's And you, you don't live there, do you? No, no, not at all. You come and go. You come and go. It's just a little more strict, I guess. But really yeah boys and girls or just all boys no boys and girls, boys and girls like, yeah it wasn't kids. like i don't know what the difference is it just seemed like another alternative school and so you just went through there and that's where you stayed and graduated from no i went there for 30 days jja and then went to 30 days alternative high school and then went back to school and then did you get your shit right yeah after that like that's when i started like uh and that was just okay. your freshman year huh? yeah so from the src the very first time i got in trouble I got referred to the 12 step program and like at first I was like, fuck these guys is done as shit. I was still trying to do drugs. The 12 step, you mean AA alcoholics well, anonymous? Uh, this was PADAP, Palmer drug abuse program or something like mm-hmm. that. And so it was like a youth program and they would take us to functions and, you know, try and get us okay, on the program and whatnot. Uh, convince you to get a sponsor and actually work it, you know, cause I think I had to get like, so many signatures before I came back mm-hmm. that second time. Meetings. Yeah. yeah. Sponsors. Yeah. Signatures. And by the time I was done getting those signatures, I was already like starting to get a little more intrigued and involved in it. Okay. It was working. So like I started trying, yeah, I started trying to get a little sober there. And then, uh, I forgot what happened. To- <laughs> it obviously didn't suck at work. Were you, were you drinking a lot? Uh, no, I wasn't there too much. Of, well, yeah, actually, I was a drinker. Were you? Like, what were you drinking? Liquor? A yeah, beer, liquor. Anything you liquor, could get? Yeah, really anything. I thought I was a little badass at one point drinking the uh, old English 40s and shit. <laughs> oh, you're running around like easy yeah, and shit, sagging know, and shit. Yeah. And so. Knucklehead shit. You really? Know. So did you, did you, you did graduate though? Yeah, actually, in. I did graduate so and is that when with you, my class. Yeah. That's did you start to... doing like fucked up shit? Were you being a criminal after you graduated or what were you doing? When were you thinking like, yeah, like what the fuck went wrong? Right. What did you go get a job? Uh, yeah. What happened? Let's see. Okay. So I always had a job as long as I could have, like once I turned 16, my first job was at Malibu castle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then after that, like I went to Del Miller. Yeah. I worked at Del Miller for a while. Then, uh, started working at Burger King down the street. Uh, this is off of Dance Jackson and Freddy's Okay, yeah. And then I went back to the same area. Like, there's a Dill Miller off of Dance Jackson and uh, Iten. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. And then there's the IHOP right next to it. I yeah. went and worked at the IHOP right next door. That Dill Miller I used to work hood? at. Yeah, stayed you in the whole area. You didn't have a car? What were you doing? Yeah, I did. I had a little 92 Honda trailer, which is actually the car that I was in. Where, so, okay, yeah. we'll, we'll get to yeah, that. Yeah, we'll get to that okay, part. Okay, so... But, you, uh, yeah, so I was working time? the whole time, and I was working at IHOP. Where were you that living time. with your parents? Uh, no, so like me and my mom, we grew. Well, I grew up there. Uh, we lived on Callahan and I ten. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's uh That's like right by where I live now. Yeah, I had like the Sun Harvest and everything yeah, right exactly. there, and then Sprouts is there now. Yeah. Las Palapas and all that. Yeah, Chachos. So you got Shady Strings, and then you got Naywood. And so your dad wasn't around in your life when you were doing all this stuff in high school and shit? Uh, so I'm born in Houston, actually. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so they separated at one time when I was way younger because I don't have like a whole bunch of fond memories with dad or anything like oh, that. Really? So you like, don't really yeah, they split dad. real young. And then whenever uh, my mom got a good job over here at USAA, so we moved. And then from there, like, he just, I was like, I think it was like two or three summers that I would go and see him. And stand over there. After that, that was it. Yeah. So when you were real little, so yeah, it's been a long time since you've even you yeah. don't talk to him anymore. I didn't in San Antonio since I was seven, so really, like I was raised here, you know. So I'm like shout I, out to San Antonio. Yeah. <laughs> um, but so yeah, so you don't really know your dad. So he's never been uh, present in your life, huh? Just your mom. Uh, yeah, just me and my mom. Okay, well that's cool. And so, what did did you feel like? Did you have since your mom was working a lot? Did you were you just 
doing whatever because your mom was busy with work? Oh, uh, well, my mom was a bartender, actually, after that. Like, because uh, everybody got laid out, I think, in 2008 or something like that. Uh-huh. That was when the housing market crashed. No? Yeah, yeah. She was doing home loaning and mortgage and all that shit. Oh, okay. So, yeah, a whole bunch of people got laid off. And from there, it's just downhill. You go from 900-something plus utilities a month to, mm-hmm. damn, like, what the fuck am I going to do now? <laughs> you know, so she was, like, trying to bartend and keep it up. And it lasted for a while. She busted her ass, man. And uh, what were you yeah, doing? Yeah, Mama definitely, she did her thing. Uh, I worked and I helped uh, for as much as I could. Like, the, like I was also a kid, so, like, I was trying to take care of what I wanted to take care of. You know, just nice and aware. Like, because really, my mom has, like, a huge pride issue also. So, like, uh, I wasn't crying. No, don't I, don't no, cry, I, Brian. No, no, I, this this no. is a very emotional <laughs> no, podcast. No, 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 I does that. Like, I have a nest up tear ducts, and uh, we'll get to okay. that also. Okay, so. But, uh. I guess your mm. mom worked at that you, time. Yeah, like she was, she was working. She tried. Though? Yeah, I was out being a knucklehead still the whole time. The program didn't work, of course. Okay, so what happened? Okay, obviously you but, tried to commit suicide. Yeah, yeah. So you have, obviously your drug use progressed, huh? Into cocaine. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, uh, not drugs? meth. I didn't ever didn't know heroin. meth or heroin or anything like that. No, uh, never got that hard. No, Fact? not not that crazy. Cocaine and smoking. Uh, the most I had ever done at that point was uh, bars, excess, weed, and alcohol. Let me ask you this. Oh, and coke. Yeah. What What do you think the worst of those drugs you were doing was? The bars. The worst. Uh, what put you probably the bars and the alcohol to combine? The bars is the bars is what does it for me. Because every time I take in bars, just some dumb, ridiculous shit happens. Like, you know, like. Yeah. That Louis wouldn't normally do, and Louis don't need to be doing, and Louis don't need to be doing no bars. But Louis, That's for doing damn sure. yeah, but Louis didn't know any no, better on yeah, bars. Yeah, huh? Louis is a dummy, yeah. And so, so um, you took um, that night, or was it at night that you this uh, happened? Yeah, okay, so we were Started talking, the, about, we're talking about that day. Okay, so work at IHOP like usual, I was serving at that time. Mm-hmm. Uh, so and was how regular, old are you at this time? 18. Yeah. You're still 18? Yeah, I was 18. And so uh, it was a regular day. I worked there and then uh, went to a party after that. And at some point of the night, I ended up getting a hold of some bars and it was game over. You know, <laughs> like just and you that. You weren't scared like, of them just, anymore? You didn't think, like, if I take these bars, well, it I only, know I'm not It's only been like four significant times that I, I took bars and something bad happened that it was like. Were you always taking them? No, I wasn't always taking them. It was only four times that I had taken them. That and something bad happened every time. Yeah, it was just but like, still, I was so still trying said, my luck. Yeah. You said five's the charm? Why do you do that? Yeah, it makes no sense. To, so you took, how many did you take that night? Um, Honestly, I don't remember that. What time was this at? Um, Probably, okay, so if I will get off around 10. So I know I got pulled over that night. No. So what happened? Wait, wait, wait. No, so I didn't get pulled over that you night. Took, so. You're at the party. You take some bars. You start getting more fucked up. What time do you leave the party? You didn't do it at the party. No, I did bar, bars at the party. No, no, no. You didn't shoot yourself. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. I was trying to deck check that something. Okay. You took... You took the bars at the party, and yeah. then you left. You're getting me like, okay, so you know you fucked up, right? Yeah, you know you <laughs> fucked up, right? Now, I'm going to say, so we're, we're, yeah, you left the party at 2 o'clock. Yeah. Right? Why are your fingerprints? On? So, no, but, uh, but what shit. happened? You, you you took them, and then you just okay, said, so I don't give a fuck. It's I took the point. bars at the party at one point, you know, and I ended up, like, the party ended, cut this one, actually. I don't know. Yeah, for real. I don't want to cut. I want to talk. I don't want to get too deep into that. Okay. Well, anyway, you yeah. you went out and then you went to a couple of clubs. Club and then uh, you're hanging yeah, with people. Whole, you're driving. Yeah, this whole thing I don't want to talk about. Yeah. Well, that's good. <laughs> Sorry about that. Like the whole the whole thing, I just I don't want to talk about. Okay. Well, at some point you uh. Yeah. So okay. How would we put that? Well, let me let, ask, let, let me think, ask let you think for a second. You, I'm going to figure out, like, how do I just jump start to okay. the fact that I shot myself in that? Well, let me ask you happened. this. Were you, were you having depression at that time? Yeah. Do you? I think so. Do you? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, you could call it, like, I'm, actually, I can't even say that because, like, that's self-diagnosis, right? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people self-diagnose, especially since the way yeah. that came out. No, I mean, yeah. from what I hear, like, shit, yeah, like, I had, like, ADHD when I was a kid and shit like that. But. Well, you were uh, diagnosed with ADHD? or Yeah, that, 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 that much were, I was. I was, so, just, I was prescribed, you know, drugs when I was younger, like, uh, Adderall, Adderall Ritalin and, and all that. Were you a, a hyper kid? Were you all over the place? Oh, it was horrible. Really? Yeah, people that like somebody that knows me from elementary and sees this is like, yeah, this is fucked up. <laughs> like, oh, really? You I think I, I always wonder. I'm like, fuck, man. I wonder if like people I grew up with always wonder like, man, we kind of was always soft. Like, 
I see that he went to prison. They're like, damn, they're like he shot himself. Like it's a little far fetched. I'm not too surprised. You know, yeah, like, they go. Damn, like, uh, like uh, yeah, I see that. Right? <laughs> they sit back and go. Louis always kind of was a little screwy. You know? That's why you get screwy Louis, huh? On Instagram, yeah. is that why you uh, came up with that? Because no, so actually, there's another screwy Louis that's older than me. That like that's not. He's not like all like into anything like self marketing as his name, but. You like on the streets, that's someday, what huh? no, like on the streets, like that's what he was called. Like, you know, like some people I grew up with, like those are older cat that we also hung out with. So they call me Screwy Louie number two, and then from there, it just oh. kind of stuck that they just always call me Screw or Screwy Louie. You know? Oh, it's because you got a screw loose, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's I guess sure. so. So, I mean, the, I, <clears throat> I, I know, uh, I guess depression is um more common now. I don't re- yeah. really remember. You know, when I was growing up, people being depressed, but I see it, you know, and but, but we never had a pandemic in, in, in the 80s. We have a lot of shit and we didn't have Internet like that. I think I think social media and Internet has a lot to do with it. Have you always been a social media dude? Like, were you always with the phone in your hand? And- um, Like, honestly, like social media wasn't too huge of a thing where you're just always on your phone. Like when I graduated, like it wasn't that bad. And now, like everybody's always on their phone. I'm like, were you an outdoor kid? Like. Um, or are you a gamer kind of gamer indoor kid? Yeah, very introverted. Really, I, I still am, honestly. Like, um, like you did you have a big group of friends or kind of no, small? Groups? Small groups of friends. Yeah, really? like I would try to sit up. Like I feel like I always try to sit in with other people, but like never actually feel like you sit in. But, yeah, oh, really? So yeah, like that was a problem. Like new trying to find a shop actually, because it's like. Damn, like you got to steal out energies and stuff like. That. Did you like, go check out a few shops before you? That, that's your art right there. Um, yes, this is, uh, like, I've done that little, uh, tattoo on the back of my friends here. Really? Yeah, but, and those other ones are... The or, portraits, yeah, everything on my Instagram. Like, that is on an illustration board? Yes. Yeah, like, well, same thing, like, I'm just used to doing it. Yeah, so, from, from, from prison, prison. yeah. <laughs> but That's it, where you, I was even buying the same brand, like, same size for a while, that 15 that, by 20 is a little uncommon, it's 30, 16 by 20. 16 by 20, okay. Yeah, it's that, so, and then I could cut it in half and then do, like... Is know, that with pen or pencil? Uh, usually pencil. That's done with a pencil. Yeah, that's all pencil. And were you looking at Sometimes I'll add pen in the eye. But, uh, no, I still do a grid, actually. Like, there's nothing too fancy about it. You know, <laughs> like, I'm not, like, just, it'd be amazing if I could three-hand it. And I know there's some artists that can, oh, you know. Like that girl. Yeah, that was a grid. That was uh, from, the, or like a rock and roll magazine. What was it called? Revolver. And her name was Caroline Westendorp. She's How- a metal vocalist for the Charm the Theory. How long did it take and- you to draw that? Um, actually, I did that one twice. That's the second one I did. Uh, the first one I did, actually, I messed up on some portraits. I was doing a family portrait, and I had completely fucked off the faces. Oh, no. Dude, faces are No, what, what was it? No. The portrait was going great. Something got on one of the faces, like, because, like, I would use a, and you could use a lotion with colored pencil mm-hmm. to do a drawing, mm-hmm. right? And it smooths it out. Yeah. Well, I had done that on another board, and, like, you know, whenever you put them up, you put them under your nat type thing. Well, not everybody knows that. They're, like, you'll get your nat, and you'll put it under your nat so it stays flat. It doesn't work yes. or nothing like that. When you well, put I, had the color, I had the colored pencil drawing I was working on facing the portraits I was facing, like, a dumbass in. So, it messed up the stage that I was working on. So, I had to restart it. Well, that board, that first time I did that other one, or that female, mm-hmm. the first time I did it, like, I had to shave off that first layer of the illustration Where? board. Oh. Yeah. No, not this one, but the first one. Yeah. I mean, I'd say the first one was a lot How better. How many layers are there? Well, several layers. I is don't know. It? Yeah, I know it's more than one layer. Like, you could use, what I do is boiling hot water with a hot towel. Raises the, uh, the taper, let it dry, and Why then Why don't you just buy another illustration board? Tough was, times, bro. Tough like, times. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get. I didn't, I didn't get. I didn't get commissary like that. Yeah, I had to draw just so I could get supplies and shit. Yeah. Suits. <laughs> but but I mean, how many? If you did something like that for someone, what would you get? Oh, something like that in prison. Yeah. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks, bro. Sometimes thirty, and then once I started like raising, bro. like like, like a, illustration dude, boards were hey, going like thirty is bucks. That a day. fortune in prison. That's that's no, a twenty still, is still a lot. Yeah, it's a send down the hallway. Like, is this for somebody else? Like, and you got to send that food down the hallway. If you, you know? go back, dude, you gotta, the I'm best you can do you. is like three dollar tax. You know? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> if you go back, I'm gonna write you. Stay in touch. I'm gonna fucking get a bunch of twenty. Well, fucking, I have a, I have a little system I'm doing now. Like every time I do a drawing, I just sell the prints. I keep the original. 
Do you? Yeah, like nah, I need an original. Though. Yeah, everybody wants the original, though. It's like, fuck, nobody wants to taste well, the you original. Have to, you <laughs> you know? charge them original prices. Yeah, it's like nobody really like gets that. Like even so, like so, like what I noticed with tattoos, there's try a lot of people that like. So uh, did you know work. how to do this before you went to prison? No, no. Like that's the thing. Like that was talking about when we first started talking. Like the interesting story about it is. If all that hadn't happened, like all what, that bullshit, what's like all, what? Okay, basically, what happened? Okay, so I went to prison uh, for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, with aggravated. a twelve gauge shotgun on a security officer. And that I was at ecstasy cabaret, just stuck up on bars and shit, being a knucklehead. And I thought he had something to do with my flat tires or some shit like that. Like yeah, in my head, him. like you know, when you're on bars and it's well, I've I don't know if you've never been on bars. Now do you? Uh, no. Okay, well. Well, you that powers of you, bro. Like, don't do them. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I would like, never do Okay, some people I've seen, these some, stories, people, some people can function on them. They'll be fine, but then, like, knee, like, it's just a chemical imbalance where, boom, it just don't work right. With the alcohol. And you with were, knee, sure with knee yeah, like, I get angry when I'm on them. So, like. Really? Bars make you angry? I yeah, like, it's just fucked up. Yeah. I, I guess because I had already ADHD or something like that. Maybe. It's having a like, reverse effect. Already, but yeah, you also took the original Adderall, which was way stronger like then the kids get now the kids oh they get some other shit right yeah they get some other stuff oh, that's less they got stimulant weaker because they figured out that they were well, giving it's 10 not, years ago strong it shit, was like huh? it was like diet pills how they're putting a fedra in it back in the day same thing with Hadderall. they're putting some shit in it that was making kids like woo. Damn. And so that oh. for years if you're doing that your brain chemistry is going to be different so yeah, if you take a I bar the chemistry, yeah. Cause that's I'm, why now I'm like, I don't even like taking pills like that. Yeah, like, fuck no, now. bro. Like, so, nothing, like, even if, like, if I got a headache, I won't take an aspirin yeah, type shit. Like, yeah, I hear you, bro. I'm, shit, I'm yeah, 100% it's just with like, that. I had knee surgery. Out. I didn't want to take the shit they gave me. Uh-uh, dude. I was like, I'll smoke weed and take <laughs> tequila shots, yeah, bro. Yeah. You ain't going to fuck me like that. So, so you uh, had so aggravated like, assault on a, on a yeah, security Yeah, so guard? I did six on an eight-year sentence from that. But and at uh, what point? That night, yeah, that night I ended up actually shooting myself. And that's and why I look like this. Yeah, you <laughs> shot just, yourself yeah, with the I'm, shotgun. Yeah, because you're a bad shot. I'm trying. I don't want to talk about that. that's it. okay. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like you get me into it, that I really don't want to talk yeah. about. I think I said like I didn't want to talk about it from the beginning. Well, like, I mean, I'm sorry. We keep I'm, on getting there. Like I'm I know what you're. To I know what you're trying to cover yeah. is the suicide part. Yeah, um, but and well, it's hard to get to the suicide part without telling that part of the okay. story. Well, let's skip that for yeah, now. If yeah. we get to it, we'll get to it. We'll so get what it. you I actually you... ended on that, you, uh, where you said yeah, that you, just, you, yeah. you went and you uh, put it on the floorboard next to you and then okay. you shot it. So okay. you start from there. So but from the seat, but, but I, I hear what you're saying. Do okay. you, um, do you remember like vividly, like if you think, you think if you were going through something serious now that you have the, the wherewithal to say, but I, I need to slow down you know, do, do you feel like you've matured a, a whole lot? Like, wow, this was okay. some stupid thinking that I was, the whole path you were on. Do you, are you aware of that? Or, or do you just go, wow, I don't know what happened. So I think the biggest part that I'm trying to say about me and my journey into artistry is that if I hadn't committed my sentence, I was in there 2011, if I didn't go to prison and did six on the eight year sentence, I wouldn't have discovered art in there because I didn't do art before. Wow, that's crazy. And I wouldn't have actually found something that I'm passionate about that I actually enjoy doing that, like, mental health-wise, it does mm -hmm. a lot for me. And then even more so, like, like you you benefit from it, like, in a spiritual way. Like, it's, it's not just, like... It's, it's therapeutic. Yeah, absolutely. Like, when I was in prison, dude, like, I found it when I had nothing to do, right? Like, Did you start out right away? Bored. When you uh, got in there, you just started drawing right away? Yes. Yeah, well, no. Uh, I ended up in a dorm that there was a lot of artists there. There was, like, four people that drew, like, really well. Banos? Yeah. No, well, there were the illustration doors, Banos, yeah, whatever. And then there was, like, three artists there. Like, when I first walked in, it was, like, late afternoon. It took forever for them to get near, like, a bunk and everything. So. Where'd you go to first? Um, Gosh. At first, I went to Garza. Then right I couldn't here. I couldn't stay the night at Garza because they had twenty four hour medical or something like that. So I got sent to Nicano. Nicano had twenty four hour medical. Spent the weekend there. I think at one point I got like, like you know, you go to different units like when they're stopping everywhere. Mm -hmm. You got to spend the night at Darrington at one point. But anyway, uh, so 
uh, luckily I didn't have to go through no heart check until I actually got to my unit unit because that would have sucked as much as I got moved around. What a check. Yeah, yeah, dude, that shit sucks so bad. <laughs> <laughs> God. Dude. No, it's because like because I shot myself, dude. Like this part of my face is like so bad. Is like, it, is I've had in there? I've had eight major reconstructive surgeries. Yeah. Eight. Yeah, I've had oh, bone so it's, taken. It's brittle. Yeah, I've had bone taken out of each of my legs. I've had bone taken out of my wow. hip. I had skin graft taken out of each of my thighs. You know, Did my they sides. do any of those in prison? Uh, no, uh, that was while I was on bond for a year and two months. Oh, you were out on bond waiting for to go to court, and you were having all the surgeries, and they were like, yeah. let him. Yeah. Did they not think you were going to make it at some point? No, uh, I think I, they did pretty well. I think the initial surgery was like a 16-hour surgery or some shit like that. Okay. Uh, or some shit like that. Like, it was really long. How much was gone? Um, So I'd say right here. About, like, I know if I press right here, I'd see it was like you can lose it. Is okay. there metal in there? No, it's like a plastic, like a hard oh, plastic okay. or something like that. So you got into a fight? You get go to checks with that? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was um, that was really bad. Were well, you like, everywhere. don't hit me? Right? No, no. <laughs> it's just like you swing as hard as you can at one yeah, person and then just do what you can. To. I, I know. No, they I'm got the, they got the destiny. I got my fuckers. ass booked. Yeah. And then you know it's no, like, like you, you know when I was in the condo, dude. They tried talking to me and like and I guess some dude like thought that's what was happening. It was like nah, leave that dude alone type shit. Like. Mm-hmm. Uh, some people understand, like, like, okay, that's some medical shit. Like, don't <laughs> you get yeah, killed in the end. But I mean, you have to get out there. You have to get out there, dude. Yeah. You, you get pushed in a situation. You have no choice. On exactly. It. I did six on a seven, dude. I know. Yeah. Uh, what was that? Um. So when I was our first showed up in that unit, like that's when it finally like got my ass off. They told me right after their uh, right after they're like uh, black, white, and the Mexican D and W. That's what it's called. Yeah, they or did black Mexican white. Whatever. Yeah. But they do one at each. Like you have to like fight each of them since you're solo and whatnot. Oh, really? Like I, I wasn't affiliated yeah. with anybody, so like, yeah. I oh, had, you were. Um, was that at McConnell? No, that was no McConnell. I spent the weekend there. Oh, where, where that was, was your unit it? That they like, were doing that. No, that was Pack Two. Oh, I went to Pack Two. Yeah. Oh, well, Luther. Yeah. Yeah, I was at Pack Two. It's yeah. Luther unit. Now. Yeah. 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 Um, they weren't doing that. Well, I was there. Uh, 1974. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I was there in 98 and 99, and part of two the early 2000s, because then they shipped me to Beto. Um, but yeah, pack two, pack two was cool though, man. Yeah. It's like, a, it's a medical unit. And then you have the people that well, still pack, have to pack like do in the pack fields. Two. Pack two. See, I was at pack two. Yeah. They had the medical unit and they had the, the people that still have to do the fields and the dogs and the horses yeah. and do the stainless steel. They had a college there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I took some classes there. I, t- I went to college there too. Actually, I want to finish my, uh, associates. Yeah. I think it's not associates. I've been thinking oh, about did? doing it. No, I want to, oh, I, yeah, I'm yeah. like three quarters away. Like, yeah, that's what you went to Wyndham, right? No, it's a uh, Lee. It's Lee College. <laughs> is it Lee, yeah, yeah, that's a science art, right? Uh, and they're college, going to Lee College, they, they, went to Lee they, High School. They, they're going to be the same thing. They changed it. They're not some whole, same. like, tree determined plants. Like, shit. Um, like it's going to be the Lee kid. And you, um, they had those do- the dogs out there. The dog boy, man. I knew a couple of the dog boys, dude. They used to go run off over there at... Uh, oh, they, they trained the dogs and yeah, shit. Yeah, they go they uh, fight Trust the dogs. Trustee camp, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, Pac-2 was... was it was kind of chill, dude. It yeah, wasn't bad. It was back chill, then. and then it was bad. No, chill, and then it was bad. Like it, it had its moments, but yeah, so, it's like it would go through waves. Like especially when they're like the wardens would change or something. How like long that. were you there? At Pack Two. Most of my time, I think it's. I was at my unit, like my like actual unit, like within a month and a half of being sentenced. Wow. Well, no, no, no. Two months, two and a half months. Yeah, because like I did twenty-seven days in county. And then and they got 27 the days out. at third unit. You no, know, like, so in between Stenton at Darrington and then the weekend at McConnell, you know, so. And then about the pack, two and a half, three months, I was at my unit, yeah. And then you were there about four and a half years, five years? No, I did six on the eight, so until I actually got out. Oh, dude, so damn, the whole yeah, time the whole there, time bro? I was there. Fuck it, dude. Yeah. I mean, it's better than being shipped everywhere. I got shipped. I'm yeah. Like, uh, the shitty part was I kept on having to go to medical for like, uh, I had a tracheostomy. So like, oh, did you still have it then? Yeah. At first, I still had it in there. And then eventually, I got tired of having to go to medical all the time. Because I was like, you need You had a water check with the tracheostomy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Fucking piece of <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm going to I'm gonna say uh, at the risk of sounding like a dick, but that's a fucked up move, bro. <laughs> like, you know what the Dakota check is to see <laughs> how he's going to fucking right, actually, respond in a riot. I think I had already yeah. taken it. He doesn't it. need to be actually, involved in the riot, actually, bro. He's got to pass. 
I think I'd already taken it out at that time. Like I'd already taken out. I the hope inter- so, that, bro. No, 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 no. I really think I took that. Uh, Life already because there's a quota check. No, because so, there's yeah. a there's an inner cannula that you have that actually goes in there. Like, like I had I had the hole the like, like a plug. No, it's like an actual pipe that goes in there. Oh, and then you have to pull it out, and then you have to clean wow. it. Yeah, no, no, like it's a pipe, and then there's another pipe that goes inside that pipe. And that one you twist out, and you could clean and stuff like that. Uh, like it was actually there because, like, whenever I had the uh, surgeries, they would put like a restorator type thing over there because I like it's all facial. So mm-hmm. you swallow up, you can't breathe correctly, and they gotta make sure you have enough oxygen so your blood is flowing through and you're healing the way so see, right? So. They left that inner cannula in there, the actual thing that goes in there. Like, it's still open. Like, you could probably hear the whisper. Can you hear that? Yeah, I hear it. It's fucking annoying. I hate it. I try to pull my shirt back and cover it sometimes. (laughs) But, uh. So, you can close your mouth and blow smoke out of there? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, actually, that's the same. That's the same part. Like, when we were in prison, like, that was like one of the most entertaining people. You reminded me of Sunday when you said that. (laughs) (laughs) No, because, like, that was like the saying, like, hey, now come on, let's go snow. And then he's like, hey, do that thing, show it, show it. The human bong thing. (laughs) Tito is like, whatever, it entertains them. Yeah, it's fucking dumb. (laughs) But yes, I I, I could, uh, that's dumb that I did. That's dumb that I know, bro. No, dude. No, dude, because, no, it's funny. It's funny, though. It's like, what the fuck are you doing still smoking, Louis? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You've seen that No, because, no, they don't. They're not smoking weed in there. They're smoking that K2 shit. No. Oh, dude. Yeah, dude. You're smoking that in there? Yeah. And it's supposed Louis, to, yeah. come on. Surprisingly. Dude, not, uh, we, we had to have this talk with Mikey, bro. I know. So, no, no, no. I, I didn't. I, like, I did, like. Oh, that shit one is fucking nady, destroying people, dude. One nady. No, I did two times. Yeah, yeah. It was two times. That shit but, wipes like, you out, though, right? I know. From what I've seen, some people flip the fuck out. Like, I've seen some idea hostage with a drone and shit like that. In prison? Literally, he was hostage with a drone. Yeah. But, but in prison, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, this dude, like, like, okay, I forgot what it was. Like, okay, this dude had, like, a case, right? You get caught with contradiction or trying yeah. to steal food or something like that. And he had to go to the major's hallway to talk to the disciplinary, right? So... This dude's getting called out. Well, the dude that was tripping on that K2 grabs his homeboy before he could go out to the nature's hallway. He's like, no, no. And he started screaming louder and louder, like top of his lungs, like a high pitch scream with a drone in his hand the whole time. And this dude's just standing there because uh, he's getting held that the officer's tripping because, like, dude, what are you doing? He's about to strand. The other dude's like, damn, I'm about to get straight. You know? How old are these dudes? I don't know. Like, they're probably like uh, 25 or some shit like that, 24, you know. Just kids, dude. Yeah. Pretty nice, man. Kid, how old are you, Louie? Uh, now I'm 28, so I'm still kids. 28. Nice, yeah, man. you're still young. Still I mean, young, you're, you're my son's age. Oh, wow. But uh, you'll see, dude, when when you're 35 and 45, how a 25-year-old is a kid. Oh, I'm sure. Is a kid. Yeah, yeah you know? absolutely. And, and I'm missing the whole It's whole good, bro. Lord I want to say yeah. this, dude. You, yeah, that's a... You're a great dude. You're a fucking circling badass back, artist. Bro. Like, you're that's a tricky part. Like, okay, everything yeah. I've been through, like, I would not be here right now. Yes, exactly, dude. And I'm glad I, I'm, you I are really, still I really much enjoy it. Yeah, it's, it's a great thing. Like Life is good, dude. Yeah, life sucks. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, when you put guns no, in your no, mouth and no, do no, that no, shit, no, it will like, make it suck No, I'll tell you what, though, like. That part sucked, yeah, of course. To like, yeah, of course, that wouldn't have led to life being so great right now. Yes. Like, I fully appreciate it now. Like, exactly, but you know, I had to go to prison. Well, it sucks that it took shit. that much to happen. You know, like some people could just, you know, we we make it more complicated than it has to be. Definitely, putting a gun in your mouth doesn't solve that shit. No, the, I, I mean, like even beyond that, like period, like people older thinking, we all older think, right? Yes, and we make things more complicated than it really Definitely. is. Like. Definitely. If you want to get into politics, why the fuck are we tamed and just live here? Like, yeah. who who decided that? Like, oh, this God. is this is the planet type stuff. Like, why do we have to do things this way to where everybody's struggling, right? Because we already know because people want to be at the very top, right? Like, well, you know, you just can't think overthink that. You think yeah, you're exactly. Too deep into it, you no, know? yeah, you could get really deep yeah. into it. Yeah, and it, it'll just fuck your yeah, head Yeah, next up, thing you know, you, you know, get into conspiracy I was going to say with your art, there's this new thing called NFTs, non-fungible tokens. People are selling their art on there, and it's just like on your phone, but you can sell like 10 copies and then like sell them for 10 whatever, you know, tokens. And then every time they sell after that, and you get you a keep percentage. selling, you get a percentage of it, 10%. Kings of Leon are going to sell their album uh, like that. This next one. What? Yeah. So look up NFTs. Do you, are you that's pretty uh, computer savvy? No, yeah. not at I all. Know, I need to learn all that. Yeah, I just seen uh, the guys at the shop and uh, they did doing that uh, throw create. 
And it's a great way, like, to compose pieces because, like, I be looking at stuff, like, all the time on Pinterest and, like, man, I could put this with this and this, you know, like. So, like, normally I would try and draw that or, you know, maybe grid it out or something like that. When you say grid it out, you mean like, just. Like, okay, you, you, you're in a grading system, like, yeah. middle school or something like that. But you do all your art like that? Um, Not all art, but uh, most of it, yeah. Like, if I'm going to do a portrait, I'll, well, that's the thing, like. If you look now, recently, like as late, my past pieces have been all portraits. Like, do you that, take pictures of everything you do? Do you post everything? Um, so not everything. See, no, like, not not everything you post now. <laughs> well, I mean, some some shit I don't even finish. I have like six unfinished pieces at the house. Yeah. But I mean, can you see um, the the difference from when you started and from till now? Oh yeah, like you could if you want. Like, does it show the? Can you, what, what yeah, where would it be on your like, Instagram? Like, if, if you look at my Instagram, if you yeah, just, like, go, like, out outwards a little more, is there any way to zoom out? Uh, no. Or, because I was going to say, if you look, yeah, you could see, like, go to the very bottom, and you could look at the shit that, like, I used to trace and shit, go all the way down. You did that face tattoo? Yeah, like, you could see the difference from, like, on, oh, yeah. Nail on the Road portrait right there, like. That was on the cover of this book, like it was a Maryland the Road book, mm-hmm. and I done that. She's maybe got kind of five a square times. jaw. She looks like yeah. she was on male. Oh, that, that, that was horrible. <laughs> I don't know why you didn't took a picture. Of that I guess for the idea that this is all my prison art, like from a certain part to another part, and you could see the progress I made over time. Then, then like now you can see like that James, James Dean. Dean. Yeah, that? you can see that's James Dean. You know, like at first it's like, Dude, oh, that's like is that Maryland the Road? Or and so you that? don't sell those originals. Um. Some of them you have. All those I just kind of held on to. Like, like if I ask you to do one? Oh, yeah. Like, I, I do condition portraits. Okay, that yeah. like, lately I've been so dizzy with the shot. Like, I, I guess what it is, I'm not so dizzy with the shot. Like, it's still make time. I'm still figuring out, like, time management because I'm getting used to a new schedule. Oh, yeah, no, no, it's just a new schedule. So yeah, it's just a new schedule. Because uh, yeah, before this, uh, I'd say no lender. Right there. That's, yeah, that's, that's that, that was way. Yeah. That, this was 2020. Yeah, so that's after drawing for. Mikey was bragging years. about you about how good you were too. He said, "Dude, when this dude gets it down, he's gonna be a killer." I was like looking at your your art. I was like, "Yeah, dude, I'm so full. Yep. dude, I'm so appreciative." It's like, yeah, yeah like those, the opportunities, dope, and the way dude. things happen. Like I had just gotten off the house arrest, and it's like, no, I, there's a handful of shots that I had my eye on because I see art coming out all the time, like. My thing was, like, when I was first trying to, like, when I first got out, the tour then my plan was to come home and try and get into tattooing. But with the GTS monitor and whatnot, being on house arrest, like, you aren't allowed to work at a tattoo shop. Because they oh. want you to have, like, a regular <clears throat> hourly they job and like all that. Yeah, job. yeah. especially since uh, when I had the work verification form filled out, it mm-hmm. was an apprenticeship, so... No, there's you're not getting paid yeah. hourly, so they're like, "Why the fuck are we gonna have you there?" <laughs> and so I missed out on two years. Like two years is a long time that you can make some progress, man. Like when you're back out, ready like, to make progress. Yeah, too. and they, I mean everything happens in good time because, like, okay, like I would have ended up at another shop, maybe like looking somewhere else. Or, and how did you find Mikey again? Um, just over time, those two years, and I had nothing to do, and being in the house, like everybody I would see with a profile picture, then tattooing, and I was adding, 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 and then. Now on your timeline, you just start seeing art, art, art. You know the way that uh, social media, dude. Like you could really market yourself on there, man. Like you just start seeing better pieces and better pieces, and start seeing some of this, some of that. And so, like, I kept my eye out on you no know, the names, mm-hmm. you no know, the what shop is this, what shop is that. So, were you looking at a few? Yeah, and then it's like, okay, well. Finally, I'm off the house arrest. Let me see if I can get my foot in the door now. You were, know, were you off of complete? Yeah, I'm done now. Yeah, that was it. Like I just got out January 19th, and then so like I'd say the very beginning of February, or yeah, the very end of January. I believe, yeah, and that's when I like I messaged him, and I was just like, I forgot how it went, but I was like, hey, now I let him know I just got off the house arrest, and uh, this. <laughs> He said, I don't know if we could hang out with you, No, girl. no. Yeah, no, I he forgot. might be too rowdy for No, us. no, no. I forgot how well. I told him, like, hey, now I just got off the house for us, and uh, I'm an aspiring artist, and I really want to learn. Like, that's, that's pretty much what I told him. Like, I really want this, dude. Like, so I told him straight up. And I, I, it's strange, man, because, like, you know, people give you the opportunity sometimes, and some people just don't, you know? And, I've like, seen it. Mike didn't made that decision. He's like, you know what? I'm going to get an opportunity, and, like, that happened, you know, and uh, he told me to bring back some drawings, and we talked for a little bit, and 
So that right there, were you drawing uh, at home when you went house arrest too a lot? Oh, yeah. Right. Like, uh, you could scroll down a little bit and like. That's I'd what you say, were doing at home? Yeah, like. I'd say I did seven or eight, like, significant portraits like that it took, you know, months No tattoos, so you Did you tattoo in prison? Uh, yeah, I'm oh, sorry. You did? Oh, I went mind blank. Yeah. No, no, but you you did tattoo. So yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, ta- I tattooed. I tattooed tattoo. in prison a little bit. Like actually, uh, I did both my thighs. Okay. Or the top of my knees there yet? And they look alright. Uh, some, some of my leg. Uh, kind of fucked up. I'd say it, it looks okay. Are you this way, you, you can tell. No, no, I'm not gonna You're cover, not gonna cover it. them. Well, the problem is, I need to make them darker. It can be oh, six. Okay. It can it, like it's not. It's not a shit. It, it wasn't a, a it's not a show? shit piece, but it can be just a little bit darker here and there, and it'll be all right. See, I didn't get any. Oh, actually, you could scroll down. You can see. You can see, you can see. Yeah, I took a picture of my own. <laughs> yeah, it worked. So you only tattooed yourself though? Uh, right there, the skull with the bandages, and then the other okay. teeth. Those are both on top of my knee. Nah, you're right. Those can be fixed. Yeah, but just need to be darker. You can hey, still tell what it's supposed is, to be. Is that shampoo and and burn that throat? single needle? Yeah, was the hair dirt yeah. hair yeah, grease yeah, scraped from the locker shaked up that's with some baby that's, shampoo? What, but that's that shit. That's why they look like that later on. Years yeah, later though, the old dirty. And it, it, actually, right there under her chin is like when I started practicing when I first got out. You do you? What you yeah, do? I started like you blew it out. No, I, when I first got out, that's the under her chin. Yeah, that black that black line looks kind of black line. No, I don't think there's no lines actually. You I mean that black shading right there? Oh yeah, yeah. Look, not so much blown out. It's just I went really dark, negative shading that area. No, yeah. Y'all, no one ever got really ink in there, dude. Can dude, you some people, a of some, dynamic some people there? actually got a hold of some free world ink. Like, I know Ooh, not not so much at that unit, but there's there's then people like where you know are say. A guard wants some really cheap tattoos that he knows, like this dude is tattooing here. Yeah. And like, they're already got something going on, you know, Shin Shan and whatnot. And so, like, he knows, say, say, okay, say, our, say, our artist is working in prison, right? Like, I used to tattoo out in Free World or something like that. Huh. Like, not, not me, but like, hypothetical yeah. situation, I'm put you there. Say, I'm the tattoo artist. I've already done several years working and I go to prison or for something, right? And I'm tattooing in there, and the uh, guard knows I'm tattooing because either I've been in trouble or it sees the work, and other people have been in trouble, like, damn, this is the best work. And then eventually, like, instead of being a dickhead and general enough, he's like, and he's just be intrigued and see what's up with this artist. And then he's like, hey, I can get this a lot cheaper. I'll say, you'll do it for 20. <laughs> you know? that's, that's a big risk for a guard to take, you know, to take the time to yeah, get that, tattooed that, in there, too, though. That it happens, and, like, you know, guards work in terror. Yeah, I know. I've, I've, I've seen it happen when I was locked up, too. And Beetle, it, it happens at the, the big, wide-open, rowdier prisons like yeah. that. But, it, I mean, it's just such a big... It seems to me... Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's kind of a Yeah, people, people take some go, risks, yeah, because you're going to lose your job, man. Yeah, I'll get it from this dirty elf here who's, who's, who's pretty Yeah, and too, it's in prison, know? bro. Like, it's not clean. But, like, I mean, the best the you're going to do is gloves. So you should, but dudes, like, dudes, like, there's prison guards that almost wish they were on the other side, but don't. You know what I mean? Yeah? Yeah, you know. I've seen that, too. Yeah, like, where they're actually, like... Either that or like they like their cousins or their other than Dude, when I was in prison, <laughs> when I was in prison in the nineties, there was a, a a gang of guards that used to keep a rag in their pocket, a certain color rag, and that let them all know that we we're on the same page. Oh, sure. with fucking people up or doing shit that they were on. And then there was another. Yeah. There, there was a dirty that used to have to cover <laughs> up lightning bolts. There was a uh, a couple of guards that used to have to cover up lightning bolts at this one prison I was at. They would put band aids just over on. They had it on. Damn. Yeah, dude, that was the '90s. I mean, I don't know what to do now how to vet these motherfuckers. I, I don't know what's good about that. Like, really, that's another thing about art, man. Because, like, okay, when I was first intrigued about it, like by all those different artists in that dorm, like you would ask, but like at the same time, like that's their hustle. So, like, nobody they don't really, nobody's you. really trying to teach nobody. No, either. definitely. And not. so, like, somebody was—he was actually from San Antonio. Uh, Man, I'm interested if he actually ended up tattooing or, like, uh, still into art because he was good. His name was Bones or something like that. But, uh, There's, like, eight Bones, I think. Yeah, the, the the, his his artwork was really good, man, and he actually showed me how to use a grid. And he showed, threw me some shaders and pencils. He was like, go at it. Like, do this, do this. And when you would, like, look at a picture? Yeah, he, yeah. Like, you get, uh, say, from the photo album, mm-hmm. right? Uh, you'll measure out, you know, write down the marks on the tape there, right? Uh, I'll use half inch grid squares. So like I'll mark on the tater half inch, half inch, half inch, and then do it on the sides and on top. And then I'll mark it with a ruler going all the way across. Real and light they, though, yeah, right? yeah, real light. 
Well, no, I'm doing this on the taser, right? Okay. And then I'll throw it inside the photo album film, right? Like inside the little film, it's got the sticky part. So, mm-hmm. you know, which is actually convenient because your photo won't move while it's in the grid. So you put that in there and then you actually draw it with a tin on that film. You know, so you'll have okay with you know, the now it's from the tater you're putting the grid on that film uh-huh you know so now whenever you will get like a photo from somebody like from the free world like say you come to new and you have the picture of your grandma or your mom or your dad or your kids or something mm-hmm. like that you want to draw him so i can put that inside that film it'll be stuck to the little photo album thing and put it over there now I look okay there's seven squares going across and five squares going up so i need to figure out how to put Five squares on this board, you know. Are you are you good at math? It's it's not even that bad, like. <laughs> but I mean, but do you vision? I don't. I was never good at geometry and kind of shit like that. Uh, but, but do you I'll, picture it already in your head? Well, you're like at what it? I would do is, uh, say, okay, I have a twenty by fifteen, right? And I know millimeters. There's sixteen millimeters in every inch, right? So See? I didn't know that. Yeah, there's sixteen millimeters in every inch. So I multiply twenty by. 16 I right? 16 and then i'll divide i'll divide that that however much that is uh see i can't do that math i'll yeah. multiply 20 by 16 and then i'll divide it by how many squares it is going across because that's you no know, horizontally yeah. like long ways or say i had the picture like this if it's tall wise you know uh and that kind of keeps you from making that error. I got of, yeah. Of, I could use myself there, but yeah, that's how you, that's how you do it. Like you just and that's how you, you do figure out. There portion. is a little math to it. It's not too complicated. It's hard for me to break it down. Well, yeah, I know that there's not a lot of rocket scientists yeah, that I ran across <laughs> drawing fucking on handkerchiefs in prison. But I mean, that's that's fucking awesome. I, I tried drawing. I thought I did. I'm. I, I, I tried a, drawing too. It, and just, I, it I took a long it. time, bro. Like, I, well, I didn't it, keep on trying. You, that's all it is, I bro. Didn't like. Keep on trying. That's all I was saying earlier. Like we always think and we think that make things more complicated than they have to do. Did you like, play handball? Yeah. Do you? Yeah, surprisingly I did. Cause like, like I would sometimes like my legs, they, they hurt a little bit. Cause oh, okay. yeah, I've had surgeries like and whatnot. Like I had done taking out my legs. Bone grafts and skin grafts? Yeah, bone and skin grafts. Wow. Yeah. And, 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 um, and that uh, really weakened because. Well, it's cause muscle? like you, you had your, you had the stronger bone up front, which is like where your shin is. Your, I think uh-huh. it's your tibula and then you had your tibula. Okay. Which is in the rear. Well, they took out like that much on each one. What do you mean? Like each they leg. shave it? No, like cut that much. They take it out? Yeah. And yeah, when it's they put a bone a grass. In there? No. What no, because your, your, your front bone is strong it's enough. Yeah, yeah. You, you, I so wasn't, you just have an empty space? Yeah, I wasn't walking for a little while. I was in the hospital then and then had to do physical therapy. And then you strengthen up and that muscle was enough to, yeah. Why wouldn't they put a rod in there? You don't need it. What seems like you're hurting I'm, and you need it? No, no. It's it's like if I go too hard, like I could run a little bit, I could sprint a little but bit, I could do more of a chance. I could do some thirties. No, it's not gonna snap because you have that front bone. It's that strong. Like, yeah, your body is strong enough. So they just cut out that much of your bone mm-hmm. and they used it to graft on your face mm-hmm. and it weakens the fuck out of your legs. Not too bad, though. It's no. like you can't do too much strenuous activity. Like, yeah, I was running back and forth and playing handball. Still run, though? Yeah, I could run a little bit to like I'd rather not. <laughs> oh, really? Did you hurt? Yeah, afterwards? yeah, yeah. Well, they hurt. The, like I was uh, doing like thirties and shit like that, and I'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because um, like I, I had knee surgery when I wrecked my bike, and they they shaved my hamstring to create a new ACL ligament, and my left leg gets tired quicker than Damn. my right. Like I only got so many steps. And no, like, like I'll done. tell you what, at uh, Coda yesterday, like after we were doing all that walking, like. Uh, you're hurting. Yeah, today I woke up I was like, man, my legs a little hurting. You know? That's an old man workout. Yeah. Yeah. You work out? Well, I went to the mall. You know? <laughs> like, shut the fuck out. That's not a workout, yeah. dude. Yeah. So, man, uh, I'd like to talk. So, let me ask you this: Do you regret doing that, or do you sometimes say, "I wish I had died"? No, no. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. At first, I did. Did at you? First, hell yeah. I, uh, like, I first woke up in the hospital door. Like, I didn't know what the hell happened at all. Oh, you don't remember? Anything? No, like it was like. That dad, like I was that, like out of it. So, so, so they found you like that, like you, you were unconscious uh, after you. After no, okay, yeah, not that. So, like, whenever they tried pulling me over, I guess at some point, like I just decided to go ahead and blow my head off. Like I was freaking out from the fact that I just shot this person. I thought I had oh, killed yeah, him. Really, killed I thought. Really, okay. I thought I killed him, dude. And this cowardice is dumb, but like, I mean, it already happened. That was ten years ago. Like, I'm sorry about earlier. It's just like. Dude's like, you get so tired telling the same story after 10 yeah, years. Well, you know, like, I mean, of course, people are getting interested. It's no offense. Like, and really, I should be a little less 
I should not be so reluctant to tell the story because, yeah. We would hope it, that it is, someone It is good to share your situation. testimony. I understand yeah. that. It's just, damn, no, I get sometimes it, you want to live past it. Hey. It's like, you get asked it a lot. Like I get it, bro. Like, I get it totally. No, that, no, no. No, but like, as, as far I'm, as I'm, being conscious, were you conscious uh, uh, when they found you? Yeah, yeah. I was, I was, <laughs> oh, you, oh, you <laughs> Okay, were, yeah, sorry. I keep on getting sidetracked. But yes, okay. So after shooting this person, right? You want some beef jerky? No, that no, shit's no. dope, dude. I'm gonna make a mess. No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, after I shot this person, dude, like, I guess it's a little shame that I keep on stopping, right? Yeah, well, you no, know that's what? okay. Like, I'm ashamed I mean, of robbing that. Hey, everybody's got something they're ashamed of, and I yeah. guess you're not supposed to live life in, with regrets. I guess looking like this, you kind of, you, you can't really tell you me that, right? Some, some like, you, would that you really use asked. that term with me? Like, hey, uh, live life with no regrets, Louis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. you're like, nah. Fuck you're, you. <laughs> <laughs> Piece of shit. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. shit! Like, I can't eat no beef jerky, man. Uh, <laughs> like, it's delicious. No, no okay, so you could suck on it. Oh man. Okay, so. I shot the security guard. Thought I killed him. Out of cowardice, I'm driving away, and they tried pulling me over. Instead of pulling over, I drive a little bit longer and decided to put the butt of the shotgun in the passenger side floorboard, and I reached into my pocket, put another shell in it, and cocked it. And because of the angle, and it was a nine, little 1992 Honda Prelude, so the seats are real low. Room? The car's real low, you know. And this is a long. It's a uh, Nazareth by Mossberg, mm-hmm. so it's a long. Rifle like shotgun. So you put you know? your head up. Huh? Yeah, so I look forward, like I look upwards like and that. That's what saved and you. because of the angle, you know, it didn't pass in your side floor door. Yeah, I split my face like all the way from here. Just Got wide it. open like an axe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I have a scar all the way under here. Like this this fucked up really like I remember when I came back from my second mm-hmm. surgery, somebody recognized me and like, like, dang, you scared the shit out of us that night. <laughs> like, yeah, like you, they, you, said, they, <laughs> they, they said I looked like alien versus predator, all like wide open. It was that bad. They were like, oh, they went to the hospital. But yeah, were, like, were you awake when you got to the hospital? Um, by then I was already sedated. But when I shot myself, like I snapped so the throat. Like, oh, really? yeah, like it wasn't like I knocked out. Like I snapped so the throat. I was oh, screaming fuck. like. You felt pain? That shit was excruciating. Yes, yeah, like my brain is doing stuff in my head right now tonight. You don't remember that? Can't even imagine. Bro. <laughs> I mean, yeah. like yeah, like that, oh, that was that's that does not mean it already happened, dude. Like, and I didn't do some bullshit with that. The, like, I, I did that to myself. I can't be angry in the Was it a twenty gauge? It was a twelve gauge. Twelve. Gauge. 12, gauge. 12 gauge. Slugs, Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Louis, you're a machine, oh, bro. You like the Terminator, bro. Fucking screwy you, Louis. Screwy <laughs> Louis is like the Terminator, damn. motherfucker. But, nah, and, and I, you didn't but lose your sight. it is what it is, and it ain't what it is. And yeah. I've been through a lot, and it's led me to this point right but now. And I'm you. definitely what? looking forward to growing that season of Quilty. Yeah, you know, man. Like, and growing, not growing old, period, and enjoying life. But look at look at this talent that it unleashed, man. Who knew that a 12 gauge shotgun had that much potential to fucking open up whatever you had going, but. You don't need to go that far into it. You, no, you I don't. don't. Like, you needed that like, and that's the crazy to, part. To like, like, like some people are like, damn. So it took that much, Louis. <laughs> like, yeah, you're like, right. like and I'm unfortunately, like shit. unfortunately, it did. That, like everything happens for a reason, and it's yeah. all in good time, dude. And you and turned it into so cliche good. that, like, you're, like, and they, you know, I think about it all the time. Like, damn, that shit really sounds legit sometimes because, like, everything really does yeah. happen in good time. Like, and, but in twenty years, if you own your own shop and you know you're one of the premier tattoo artists, like you want to be, I mean. Dude, I just want to create. Like I just want to create good art, man. Stray good eyes, man. Learn, and grow some good teeth, man. Like at this shot, like that, oh, I was yeah. so worried about that, like, like the vibe, dope, the dude. energy, you know, like, and then like it's very family oriented. Everybody's cool. Everybody sits once when they show up and before they leave, you know, like everybody's cool. Like, oh, they're great dudes. Like, like there's no like uh, big headed people there and nothing like that. Everybody's nice and humble. I'm not saying like everybody is, but like. No, there, Mikey's, there, head, there, Mikey's head looks kind of big when you look at him. <laughs> there, there, there is a stigma where like some artists you know, do get you know, full of it, and like I, I try and always yeah. stay humble. People have always told me to stay humble. You know, just keep on trying, man. Like, let me ask. And you that's something. all I want to do, man. Just keep could, on learning. Could you put that drawing exactly that same way on somebody's skin? That's what I'm trying to do. Right? Do you think that's what I'm trying that, to learn? That's what I'm trying to learn right now. No. I mean, but that, 80, imagine that. 85, maybe 10, maybe, you know, 12 years yeah. from now, they're like, however long it takes, maybe a month from now, who knows, like, maybe I'll, like, really just one day get it, like. That's and badass. Not, like, and so. Like, I've done this, like, it's not absolute trash, but, you know. You did not, that yourself? Yeah, I've done all this, like, like, I guess some artists, like, How did you get this all the way over here? Literally like this. You did that recently? Uh, Actually, this is. 
August. Yeah, last August. Is this it? That's weird, dude. Yeah. Wait, you when is that? Yourself? 67 weeks ago? So November of 2019, yeah. Wait, gosh, so two years ago? Damn, that was a long time ago. It seems like it was just last year. <laughs> it's 2021 now, damn. Does... So yeah, you, this is this. Do you feel like you go lighter on it when you're tattooing yourself than if you're tattooing someone else? Yes, that's you the do? problem. Like, you yeah. can see the inconsistencies. Like, Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You see some little valleys. And yeah, it's because I was being a pussy and not going deep enough. You know? but dude, the, this motherfucking pussy stuck a shotgun in his mouth and pulled the trigger, and now he's like, ow, that I mean, hurts. I, I still did that much. I mean, shit. <laughs> Ow, that hurts. Can you not do that? Neil? I know. So I could have done some practice skins and started to drill myself. Put it in the that, But you know, man, that's badass what you're doing now. And did you stop doing drugs? No, that's the fucked up part. That, <laughs> no, come Damn. on, man. What, 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 what is the lesson that we're, we're trying to send out here to people? I like, know. No, but no, but really. Oh, really? You are you in control? Wait, should I? Oh, hold on. Are you in control? Go ahead and rewind and I'll say, yeah, stop doing drugs. I'm sober. I turned my life around. Here. No, 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 no. No, you are know you what it is? When you do shit? Is. Okay, like of course weed. Like I love smoking weed. Too. Yeah, so do I. We're not talking. About, um, we're talking about hard drugs. Yeah, yeah the, no hard out. drugs. No, no. Drug. Like, like the when I first got out, like I was like, I didn't drink for six months when I got out. <laughs> I didn't. No, drink for no. Six all months. I started doing was exos again. They're like no bars. No, that's exos. A, X. I, yeah, ecstasy. Ecstasy. Okay. No, no. Zans is like the dig. No, no. I won't do those. Nah, fuck that. But Cocaine, ecstasy is something else. Acid is something else. Shrooms or something else. Like anything else other than that, I won't do. Acid yeah. still around? Yeah. I did yeah. acid in prison, dude. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, shit is right, dude. Yeah. Boring, weird, and Even creepy. Even worse, yeah. the first time I did acid was in the county jail. That's the perfect place to trip. You know? No, it was not. <laughs> prison is way better to trip and, and than in, because in the county jail, we were locked up. Not because if you had a bad trip, you, you yeah. had a whole well, there lot of There was nothing trouble. to do. Yeah. It wasn't good. It wasn't good. No. Um, and we um, took some eight ball shit, but. But in prison, it, 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 was, it wasn't good either, but it wasn't horrible like the county jail. Oh, no, uh, like anything hard, like cocaine or heroin or ice or anything like that. Like, Stay no, away from it. No, I'm good. Th- yeah. That's that's good, dude, because apparently... It and even, even more so, like, it'll, it'll be, like, when I'm just at the house, you know, like... Do you like, drink? Um, socially. Socially. Socially? Beer, too? Tequila shots? Yeah, actually, I forgot all that beer right here. Yeah, that's what I was asking, dude. I was like, motherfucker, I bought that beer again. I ain't drinking. But, yeah, I mean, that's good, though. Do you feel... Do you regret totally this whole the whole thing, or do you go, eh, shit happened. That was a bad day. It is what it is. <laughs> it is and it ain't what it isn't. It ain't what it. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> I, I bet, dude. It already happened, man. Like, that, oh, that's man. good though. Though, I'll tell man. you what, I, I can. That's good though that you're. I came across this interesting uh, video, man. And I, I don't know what it is. Some kind of lecture that the dude is talking about. All you have is this moment, right? And so, like, I just said, your mind just processed it, and it already happened like so many seconds ago. And now you're still thinking about it. So if something happened in the past and we keep on thinking about it, we're wasting that moment that we have right now. It's here and now. So, but at the same time, you got to learn from the past. No, what I'm saying is the more I keep on thinking about it, though, like how can you expect me to grow too much? You know, like if I keep on thinking and regretting it. I don't, oh, yeah. I don't, I don't ask myself that no more. Like I used to. I used to curse God at one point thinking of Did you? Like, because like, yeah. Are you a religious dude? Uh, not so much religious, more spiritual. Like, <laughs> I don't like religion. I say man created religion. You know, I'm not gonna get too deep into that. But like, there doesn't need to be denominations in different religions yeah. because if you look at them all, they all have the very commonality. Not so much like if there's like a dark cult religion, but like most religions that you'll find, you have the commonality and it's love and compassion, man. And I like I started getting into Buddhism a little bit, and that that too. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's a good path, man. I have and, a buddy Jerry Lee that's uh, very into that. Love and compassion is a great practice, and I just try and be mindful of that. That's also another practice: mindfulness and awareness. And, try to be a good person. Yeah, that's all I'm trying to do, man. Like, and I'm like, I still could be like, no, we all like get like have our dad times and whatnot. And I'm circling back to we overthink, right? We create our own issues, and sometimes we take them somewhere else, and sometimes we gets taken out on somebody else like not like aggressively but like using like a altercation like when somebody's just having a bad day and it's like fuck you you know <laughs> you know I took road people rage. have their bad days they're like do you road rage uh sometimes but not <laughs> but it's usually because somebody's like really just 
like trying to run the Being older. Like, no, yeah, so I'm not trying to run the older. It takes a lot to get shit, you upset yeah. while you're driving, or you because I don't road rage. No, I'm, I'm actually very uh, courteous when I drive. Yeah, I am. Like, sometimes like trying to get into the lane, like I'll slow down, slow down. Like people will get mad at me because I'm just like letting people in the lane. Yeah, like, yeah that's good. That's yeah. that's a start. That's a start because I know people that drive real aggressive. If you want to get into a fight, no, that go I, I've actually had a lot of good luck lately with driving. I so, like. A lot of good luck with driving. With yeah, you. like, I mean, like, people, like, lending in the lanes oh. and stuff like that. Like, there hasn't been, like, a whole lot of the, like... Fuck you, man. I yeah, there hasn't been a whole lot of that lately. Like, people are getting cool lately. Like. You know, people, when the pandemic happened... Did I guess that's what it is. Like, people were driving crazy. Yeah, yeah. People and now people are, like, crazy. calming down. They're getting, like... They're well, they opened chill. up Texas again, man. I guess that's what it how is. Do you, how, do you, how do you feel about that? Um, are you at a high risk if you catch the Rona? No. I don't think so. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm mentally, I don't get the tower now. If it hasn't happened to me, then it's not going to happen to me, I feel like. Do you get depressed about being like in Because I was serving at IHOP, you know? So, mm-hmm. like, that put me, I was serving tables, you know? Yeah. We're still Did busy during... Them? I wore a mask, so I felt a lot more comfortable, <laughs> you know? Because <laughs> at first, I was in the back washing dishes, and then coronavirus became a thing, and I put on the mask. And I was like, you know what? Can I go ahead and serve? Because, <laughs> really? you know, fun, daily yeah. tip money was fun, you know? But uh, even then, the mask doesn't say to everything, you know? You could still contract the virus. Yeah. As busy and involved as I was with people, I didn't contract it then. And... Now being at a shop and stuff like that, being around people, you know. I'm, you haven't had it though that you know. Haven't had it. No. no. Anyone? Your mom and she had no. it. No. Yeah. My, nobody. My nobody knows that. Uh, I know actually, people that have had it. I know people at North has had it, like my aunt. Yeah, like, like we're distant, but I know she did. The, yeah. It's it's weird though. I mean, it's uh, the first wave was. I've like, heard. I've heard all so kinds much? of shit, man. Like. Yeah. The I, first I, wave I, was I, like there was like. No one. I knew someone that heard that someone that they knew might have got it. And then the second wave was like, damn, Jimmy up the streets got it. You want to hear something I heard? was like, man, my neighbors got it. We got to stay away from everyone. You, you want to know something I heard? My mom's friend, right? Uh, she went and got the COVID test, right? Mm-hmm. But the swab, like, they ended up the, putting the, the clean swab as one of hers, right? What do you mean? They didn't even swab her? No. Well, and she paid for that? Yeah. <laughs> you guess what? She came out positive. She came out positive. She's fucking, she's very contagious. Then. No, no, no. I mean, like, I mean, like, they nixed them up or some shit. Yeah. That's no, they, they, no, they nixed up the swabs and they still ended up saying, like, labeling it as hers. It was a clean swab, but it came so back as positive. Do? Like, it already had the virus on it. That's what I'm saying. Oh, ooh, so you someone think they're giving yeah, people like, the virus? I yeah. saw someone say like, they were getting a vaccine like, and they started My mom, my mom was telling me about that. Like, she was saying, Lisa said uh, that she had gone to get tested, right? And then they mixed up the swabs. Like, it was a clean one, but... It was. So she never got swabbed? No. And then she just what, she just left? Yeah. And then they said, hey, we got a... Well, I've, I've, I've heard of that where they... I, it, it could be a faulty... The way they're doing it, a faulty test, because they did it in one nostril uh, for a, a gentleman I know. They did it in one nostril, it came out positive, And then they did another nostril, and it came out negative. Well, how big was her nose? <laughs> I guess one was <laughs> congested not, and the other one yeah, wasn't. Yeah, no, they were just... They were doing lines out of the other one, and it was all clogged up. Yeah, uh, no, I just I feel like it wasn't really a thing. Like, okay, oh, sorry. No, you know what? No, you know what? That, that's insensitive because some people actually it yeah, was a thing, man. and people, people actually died. died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know people that have died. It's a no. real thing. No, it's it a just, thing, but I don't it just know. hits people. It's, it's weird, so like, random. I don't think it's like not everybody gets it. I guess I don't know, bro. I haven't. And I'm around a lot of motherfuckers. Yeah, that's too. what I'm saying. I'm we're around, around a lot of people too. I guess at the same time, if we know what's going on, then we're the dumbasses running around some of these people. I mean, as I'd be thinking that, like, damn, like I haven't, but it could. Uh, it's, it's sad because I and know some cool thinking, people that have. Then gone, you are you thinking know. like it's not a thing, but yeah, I guess yeah, it is a thing. I'm I know sorry. some cool people that have gone, dude, that have died because of this, dude, and cool people that I know their families have died, and it's just it's devastating. Right I guess now, yeah, man. it really is that whole philosophy like, well, damn, it hasn't happened to me, and then like, yeah, and then until it happens to you, and then it's like fuck, you know, but mm-hmm, right. uh, they're thankful it hasn't happened. Well, that's for good. Either Let us. me yeah, ask you like, this: yeah. What advice do you give? Do you have? Um, if any, you might not have any advice, um, to anyone that's going through something that you have gone through and are thinking about. Always take time for yourself, right? Like, it's good. Like, okay. Some people have so many things that they got going on, even especially if you got kids. I don't, but like, 
You don't have kids? No, I don't have kids. So, like, say you do have kids and you're always, like, taking care of them or you're always, like, taking care of your family or somebody else. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. Like, taking time to do something that you enjoy. And if you don't have something that you enjoy or something you can do to take time for yourself, then make sure you find that. You know, like not an outlet. Time it's yourself? good to have an outlet. Is were, you, were you feeling like you weren't taking time for yourself? I didn't think that was it so much. Like, mental health-wise, like, I think there's anybody that is struggling, like, because we think too much, right? So if you are overthinking a lot, and things are, like, becoming too, like, overwhelming, one, of course, reach out to somebody if you're, like, so yeah. deep that you're thinking about taking talk your to life. Somebody. But, like, well, sometimes not just anybody. It, it, Get like, a couple that's, of opinions. Sorry, that, <laughs> actually, that's most people that are going to commit suicide aren't going to say anything. They're just going to do it. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. like mine's was impulses, right? Yeah. Yours was in a, in a, and a lot of them situation. are, a lot of them are impulsive, but some people that like, just can plan it out or something. But regardless, like it's an unfortunate thing. Like every time I hear like somebody can hit suicide, like a little part right here, like it hurts. Like, even if I don't know them at all, it still hurts. Like, it's like, because I've been through it and, I've seen firsthand because I still did it, but I lived and I got to see the effect it had on my family. Really? That's you know, what dev- yeah. that devastated the yeah. most, huh? You know, I still, like, I know, like, there's a resentment and whatnot, you know, like. Resentment t- from who? From them to you? From my family. For, to what like, you, for yeah. you doing that? Yeah, of course, yeah. Cause, like, I didn't think about that, about them being angry at you for doing that, like you were going to leave. Yeah, that's this. a very selfish thing, man. It's like, I'm not trying to talk down on anybody else that has done it it's very much a selfish thing especially if you have a family or something like to that. do like, to yourself to do yourself it leaves like, everyone with the question almost everybody has people that love them i, I say everybody has somebody you know that cares yeah. about them whether it's their dog or cat too, yeah you some, know? something like just to say suck it all and go you know like yeah but life, it's, life is good it's, 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 yeah it's, life is a wonderful thing man and it's very unfortunate that so many people throw it away and i know it happens a lot <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Make sure you like taking that time for yourself because we do think too much. And then that's where our problems become like, you know, deeper thoughts. And we start, you know, making it worse than what it really is. Yeah. You know? yeah. I, the, the thing is like, uh, I have a few friends that I talk to like, and we all like have like mental health issues and whatnot. Like, oh, really? Everybody struggles. I say like, I remember when I was in prison, actually, I was going to say this earlier, you know, you're, Talking about something else. Damn. Like, I, no, 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 no. It's just <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to interrupt that it was okay. a topic that I was thinking about is like it could start right here that my uh buddy that I was in prison with, right? Uh I was venting to him and he like I guess he was having a hard time and he just said straight up, he's like, Look, man, everybody has something that they're going through. Everybody's struggling. Like now everybody talks about it, now everybody's gonna vent about it. They're like, You're telling me about your issues and I got my own problems going on. And it's like and that's very true. Like, everybody's got something going on, bro. Like, even if they got it good, like, something is going on that everybody's making yep. worse than what it really is, bro. And it's like, it sucks and it's unfortunate, but that's the way life is. Like, life has suffering in it. And, like, that's what Buddhism teaches. Uh, suffering so exists. There is a path to suffering. There is a cause of suffering or something like that. But there's also a path to the end of suffering. Yeah. Yeah. And so, like, when I say we think too much is because we make things something that they don't necessarily have to do. We get things, words that, you know, that we could get philosophical, philosophical yeah. with stuff. They're like, um, we really do like make things worse than they are more yeah, complicated than they have to do. Like people say tattooing is hard. Drawing is hard. Like it's not so much hard. It's just a matter of doing it. You know, like you just, you have to, put, well, it's not for you have to put it. it. No, it's not fair. Like, now everybody's going to enjoy it. I'm saying people that say I can't draw is because they yeah, didn't they put didn't in that effort. much effort. Like, because I couldn't draw, like, the stuff on my Instagram, like, the very first post. Like, that was after me already drawing for, like, two years, like, and tracing shit and trying to shade, you know? Like, like I kept trying for six, seven, eight years, you know? Like. Really? So, the whole time from, that you were trying? Yeah, from 2013. Like, even right now, like, like, okay, my skills are a lot better, but I'm still trying. I'm, like. I was trying to find something that will challenge me, something that will help me grow. Like, Did you feel that that was going to be something that you were going to do when you got out of prison? Is uh, that why you were st- trying to really stick? You said, I'm going to start a new career. I'm going to have a career. I, I, I very much wanted to try and learn the tattoo. Like, I, I, you could get tattoo magazines and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I was inspired by that. But, like, um, even more so in prison mental health-wise, dude, I was in a bad place. So I really? think that's where, like, when I found art, like, 
like it really became like oh, a skate. No, it really, yeah, it really became like a skate. Yeah, like instead of just sitting there, like I'll throw it on that and sit down on the floor and draw, dude. Like, did you read? No, I'm not a big reader actually. No. Like I could read, but it's just, I guess it's some ADHD type stuff. Like I'll read ten pages and not you're know oh, what the fuck happened. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah like, oh wait, who's who? You know, I have to go back and like, yeah, I just look at the letter side shit. Like I'm during the process that part. Wow, man. Well, dude. The other day, yeah, I very much do enjoy drawing, man. Like, it became my escape, and, like, that's that's what I do to get myself away from me. You know? do, do you have a, a, a goal? Do I have right a now? goal? Do you have a long-term goal? Five-year goal? Where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, five years, uh, still get DSC in there, probably. Actually, most definitely. I definitely plan on sticking around for a while. Like, uh, loyalty-wise, I think it's very important in the fact that, like, getting me the opportunity. Establishing yourself as, as yeah, like a it's it's time. a it's a great shot, man. Like there's no reason for me to want to leave. Like I don't see that. Like it's just I know like being an artist like die then. Hopefully I'll I'm, like, I'm sure I'll be professionally tattooing within five years, you know. Oh yeah, definitely. And in the next you know, couple like, of years you should uh bookings and appointments and maybe had an opportunity to travel and that'll always be home type thing. Like that's where I started, that's where I want to stay. Like well, um, Nady, Nady, like long term, like open the shop. That's like way down the road. That's like 10, 15 years. Yeah, like, of course. What the main, mean? the main thing is, I know, like, and I'm sure, like, I don't know firsthand, but like, I'm sure it takes a lot of effort to run a shop, yeah. and nonetheless have several of them. You know, didn't have several with, uh, locations, with like 10 right? Dirties at every one, and you're trying yeah. to tell them all to be there. Yeah, and so this and not do that. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot to run a shop on this year, and so like that's not something I want to look forward to doing like anytime soon at all. Like, I want to be able to. Take a point in it, just make some good work, you know, put in that time and effort and just grow, man. And another thing is travel. travel I, I want to travel. Like, yeah, like I'm connected to Ellen, so there's certain you no know, countries I'm not ideal to go to. Canada. But, yeah, Canada and shit. That Fuck Canada. Where I can go. Shout out to Canada. Fuck you. <laughs> where so. I can go, man, I'm going to definitely try and travel a little bit, you know, see some places, do some good work in other places. Threads of eyes. Well, that's cool, dude. That you're gonna get this opportunity um, yeah. for you it, know it, the bad situation that you went through, and then now because of it, you've done something great because of it, and you're gonna travel around the world definitely. Because if if you keep going the way your art looks right now, and if you keep going that way, definitely you're gonna be doing great things with it, man. And uh, it's badass, dude. It's badass that you, you have a great story, Louis. I've known you for a short time, you know, um, but I've seen you, you're a cool dude. You know, you have a great story and just, uh, just be aware of what you're doing, man. You're still yeah, young absolutely. and people are going to start looking up to you because you're doing art and there's going to be other dudes that come after you and they're going to look up to you, dude. So whether you want to believe it or not, you are going to be a role model at some point. In yeah, this. I, I could. So well, I don't, I don't. Just be aware of that, dude. Just don't so much want to be a role model. This is no, like, you might not want I'm to sure be. I'm sure naturally it will gonna, happen. Yeah. yeah the, I can like, look at your art and go, I want to be like him. Right now, I, I guess like that. like I guess uh, like I'm on TikTok and stuff like that, and there are like younger people that are like trying to get into art. So like yeah, like you do kind of be kind of role model, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Are you influenced? But it's like I don't it feel like a role model because I don't feel like much to be a role model. The world, I guess like dude, I know what you mean. I understand what you're saying to be careful with how yeah. you do things. Yeah, and, uh, that makes sense because. You know, I don't want to become like somebody that people despise. You, know? <laughs> you don't want to become someone that has all these regrets now after getting through a big thing. And now from here on out is your life is full of regrets of other shit that doesn't even compare to what you went through. And you're like, why would you let that be the thing to bring you down when you no. go through the most horrific thing? Absolutely. No, that's you why know? I'm just. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. You know, just. Uh, that's why I'm just keeping this slow dog and I'm just good. Yeah, man. Try now that's what in, I had to do. Pull the, the parking shot, brake and take everything slow after going to prison, wanting everything so fast. And now take it slow, man. Yeah, and yeah. It's, it's good and stop and smoke. I, I like the way I love the way things are actually right now. That's good, bro. Well, man, we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up, man. Louis, I'm glad you came out here. It was a good story. I know you didn't uh want you wanted to open up and didn't want to open up. <laughs> yeah, you opened the book and that. slapped yeah, it again, yeah. but it was no, nah, it was great talking to uh, you. It took yeah. a while though. It's like uh I guess the main thing is you try and figure out how you're going to. Hey, dude, I get it, bro. There's things, things that I, I get it. I just totally get it. And when if you want to uh, come back on at any time and talk about any other parts that you say, hey, man, I want to, you know, reach out and tell something else. I don't know. Or maybe yeah. maybe we. Come I guess uh, one thing where you are asking earlier, and I think is important is like, because like you ask whether or not I'm still suicidal, like whether or not you still have those tendencies, mm -hmm. and it's like after a while, like. If you've been through it, like, it goes away. Like, you don't have to go through it to actually fully appreciate life. Like, 
Yeah. I mean, you, um, you're here still. Yes, you're here still. You survived yeah. something that a lot of people can't say that they have. And I know there's a lot of people right now. They're like mental health wise are struggling. Right? Yeah, they are, man. We're in this this pandemic, and people are depressed. You, you know, and and it's weird because I usually shrug things off, and I I feel like I have people that are depending on me to be strong. Yeah. Even though, like you said, I'm going through some shit, and my girlfriend, you know, will dump her problems on me, or I get other people, and I just sit there and take and it, it, and I don't want to say, but guess what? I raise. I that, have this. that can become overwhelming, so long as we allow it. Yeah. Yeah, but I, we, I just we, deal we get with things it. a lot of power, man. Yeah, I I hang on to it, and I I but I embrace that position that I'm in, and I got to be that person, and I you know I want to come and bring someone like you that's got a great story, and hopefully we both together we can help someone else overcome something that they've gone through, and don't think that the ultimate decision is to put a fucking gun in their mouth or to fucking Absolutely. wreck their car, or drive off a bridge, or put a rope around their neck or anything like that, yeah. because you give them 24 hours, and the next day could be the start of something beautiful, you know. It really can, and, and, yeah. And, and what you do to you everyone definitely else, reach out, you know? man. You got to. So, yeah. hey, man, well, and I appreciate you coming out, bro. Is, I there guess. Anything, is there anything that we leave out? Do you have anything else you want to say? Yeah. Say it. If you don't like the way things are going right now, then when is now a good time to change them? Bam. Words yeah. to live by. You should write fortune cookies. No, actually, that's from The Secret. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right, bro. Yeah, 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 well, the what's secret up, suckers? Thanks for coming out, bro. Peace. <laughs>